The intestinal epithelium is the organ in our body that regenerates uh, with the highest uh, renewal rate. Um, cells are uh, born and die within less than a week. And this continuous renewal happens to the uh, presence of uh, a number of uh, stem cells that divide uh, continuously and provide uh, new cells to this tissue. Over the past few years, we um, understood that colorectal cancer contain uh, stem cells, tumor stem cells, and that the growth of these tumors over long term depend on that particular population of uh, stem cells that resemble the normal stem cells of the intestinal tube. The aim of the laboratories is to understand the biology of these cancer stem cells, um, to find ways to track them in tumors, to understand what are their roles uh, during disease progression, during resistance to therapy, and how we can therapeutically target uh, these cells um, so that we can provide uh, new uh, cures uh, to patients with advanced diseases. Lately, in the laboratory, we have been interested in the phenomenon of metastasis, how colorectal cancers spread to other organs. Metastasis uh, happens because of a small number of cells are uh, capable of regenerating the disease in a different place. And these are very difficult to cure. What we have learned about this process, about metastasis, is that um, it is largely cell and autonomous, which means that the cancer cells by themselves cannot make it, cannot generate metastasis efficiently, but rather, these cells have to learn to talk, to communicate with the cells of the body, to corrupt them, to teach them how um, they can help them, help the cancer cells, to regenerate the disease in a four-inch organ. By understanding the precise communication between the different cell types of the tumor, we can ambition new ways to treat and to diagnose a colorectal cancer patient. In the laboratory, what we like the most is try to pursue uh, new frontiers. And uh, this is obviously a very challenging task. It not only involves having good ideas, but also having very good resources, such as those here at IRB, having the possibility of attracting excellent people, but also is an exercise of pragmatism. Uh, we have hundreds of ideas, many possibilities, but we necessarily need to focus and uh, make an exercise of addressing those that are only possible. I brought a painting from our, one of our favorite uh, painters, Enrique Solanilla. We have it at home. It's a, a beech tree uh, forest and it symbolizes the beauty of, uh, the intrinsic beauty of biology, uh, but also the fact that many times scientists get lost and uh, very often we get lost in a forest of uh, preconceived ideas that prevent us from advancing and from finding uh, the right ways. Mm -hmm.